Hello, soldiers of Christ. You ever faced a situation or perhaps you're facing a situation now that you're saying that I am not going to be able to take this. I cannot bear this. I am not going to make it through this. I mean, we've all faced situations like that. I've faced situations like that. Even the most spiritual person in their life has faced situations like that. Even the apostle Paul, he says, there were times that we thought that we were, we were going to lose our lives. So even Paul was in this situation. So this isn't unique to you. And that's another thing. You may say that this, what I'm going through now, no one has ever faced it. When it tells us in Hebrews 4 that Christ was tempted in all areas that we were, yet did not sin. So we have a high priest, we have a Lord, a master, our Lord Jesus Christ, who knows exactly what we're facing because he has faced them, yet overcame them. Well, let me bring your attention to a verse in scripture. It's 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. Listen to what the word of God says. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So the first part of that, this thing that you think is unique to you, it's not. The first part of verse 13 in 1 Corinthians 10, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. So that tells us right there, this thing that we are going through now, is not unique to us. Now the things that the disciples and the apostles faced in th those days, may be different when it comes to this physical th this physical world. We are tempted differently, but it's all involving the same elements. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. There's just new forms of temptation, if you will. Internet, whatever. But that that you are facing now, it's not unique to you. But then he, he adds, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Now you may be saying, but I can't hardly bear this thing, yet you still wake up the next morning. Think back to a time where you said the exact same thing. This is gonna crush me. This is gonna take me out. I cannot bear this, yet you did. But think about this. If you didn't go through what you went through then, you wouldn't have been able to make it through the next trial. And you won't be able to make it through this trial that you're facing now. So God is using those trials to prepare you for the next trial. He's not going to tempt you more than you can bear. Now, see, this is the verse that many take out of context and say, God will not place on you more than you can handle. It's not necessarily true. This means God will not allow you to be tempted. He will not suffer you to be tempted more than you are able. But along with the temptation, he will also make a way out of the temptation. He will make a way for you to escape the temptation that you may be able to bear it. So sometimes God does put more on us than we can handle. Why? So we'll call out to him so that we'll place more trust and faith in him and rely more on his son, Jesus Christ, to work in us and through us. But all these temptations that you're facing, all these trials that you face that you say is going to destroy me, it's going to take me out. No, it will not because God will not allow you to be tempted more than you are able to bear, but he will provide a way of escape out of it that you will be able to bear it. But why is that? As Paul writes, God is faithful. God is faithful. In spite of our little faith, God remains faithful. So this temptation and this trial that you're facing now, it's not unique to you. For everyone has faced it in some way or another. Now the situation, the, the form, the way it's happening may be different, but it all involves the same elements. And again, remember that this that you're facing now, Christ faced it in one way or another. He faced it, yet was not overcame by it, but he overcame it. And through him, you will overcome it. God will give you the strength to bear this temptation, this situation that has came in your life. He will make a way out of it so that you can bear it. And he won't place on you more. He will not tempt you more than you are able, but he will provide a way out of it. And he will give you the strength to bear it. Rely on him, trust in him, have faith in him, rely on the power and might of his son, Jesus Christ, working in you and through you, and you will be able to escape it, and you will be strengthened enough to bear whatever it is that's going on in your life. And don't say that no one has faced it. Even if no one on this earth has faced it, Christ has faced it. He was attempted in all areas we were, yet did not sin. So we can approach this throne room of grace 
through him, knowing that God will hear us, knowing that God will give us mercy and we could find mercy and obtain mercy that will help us in our time of need. Rely on him, trust in him, have faith in him for he is faithful even when you're not. So don't say this temptation, this trial is going to destroy you because it will not destroy you. In fact, it is the exact opposite. It will build you. It will prepare you. It will give you that increase in endurance and perseverance to make it through whatever anything comes up in this life. Why? Because God is faithful. God will strengthen you. God is with you. Christ is in you. Remember that. So God is faithful and he will not allow you to be tempted beyond that which you are able, but he will provide a way of escape, a way out of this temptation so that you will be able to bear it. Trust that. Have faith that that's the truth because all of scripture was inspired by the Holy Spirit of God. The writers of scripture wrote by inspiration of the Holy Spirit to write what God wanted them to write. So this is a promise. There is nothing that you have been through that is, that is common to man, or which means this is not unique to you. Everyone has suffered through this type of temptation, this type of trial, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. Have faith in that. This that you're facing right now, God is not gonna allow you to be crushed by it, but he's gonna use it to build you up. You won't be destroyed, but you will be edified, built up by this situation that has come up in your life. And God will not allow you to be overtaken by it, but he will provide a way out of it that you may be able to bear it. And he will give you the strength to bear it. Trust in God, have faith that God is faithful. Even when your faith seems small, remember the God we serve, the universe that cannot contain him, yet he dwells within us. Have faith in God. Have faith in your Father. Now who is your Father through his Son, Jesus Christ, who is your Lord and your Master who has faced all that you have faced, yet was not overcame by it. He will give you the strength to face anything, for he is not a feeble king. He is not this feeble master that we serve. God has placed him on his right hand and has given him all power and authority. So even whenever you can't deal with something, just know that he can. Or you fall short, he picks up the reins and he takes control for he is in control. And when other people look at you and say that you cannot do it, you look at them and say, but my God can for all things are possible with my God. Have that confidence and assurance. Now, I pray that this has been an encouragement for you. If it has, please like the video, helps the channel, and hopefully that God can use this in, in someone else's life to encourage them. If you have any prayer requests, please leave those down in the comments, and I'd be more than happy to pray for you. If you have any scriptures that comfort you, that bring you encouragement, please share those also down in the comments. But hold on to this truth. Others have faced what you have faced. And if that doesn't bring you comfort, your Lord Jesus Christ has faced what you have faced and was not overcame by it. And through him, you can overcome this and you will overcome this because God is faithful and he will provide a way of escape out of it that you may be able to bear it. Believe that. And I pray that God blesses you and may the grace and mercy of Christ Jesus the Lord be with you always.